Hey everyone, welcome to Tower TV. And in this edition of Tower TV, we're going to be going over how to put smart lipos into their self storage mode or their smart storage mode. Uh, just been getting a lot of questions about people wondering how you do it. It's a super simple process. We're going to be showing you on the S2100 charger and also on the smart, smart checker. So we're going to go over those and hope you enjoy. All right, so we've gone ahead and hooked up our smart 5000 milliamp race pack battery with the smart chip plugged in there. And you can see that it registers as a smart battery on our channel one on our S2100 smart charger. Now this does go for all smart chargers. You just go ahead and hold this center button here. And you're gonna get this menu to pop up and this is charger settings and smart settings up here. So you have your smart channel one and your smart channel two. We're gonna go ahead and click channel one because that's what we're signed in as. And now you have all of these battery options that pull up here. So you have auto storage, storage voltage, current charge, charge voltage, and let's see, expection record. That's what that is. So we're going to go ahead and click the auto storage. And you're going to get a sidebar that pops up. And this is where you can go ahead and adjust how you want your smart uh, charge or your smart discharge to go into effect or when you want it to start. So you can scroll all the way up here, and I'm not going to scroll all the way, but you can go to as low as 12 hours on this thing. So I'm going to go ahead and set this on 12 hours, and I'll be right back. So now that you can see, we've scrolled all the way up to the 12 hour mark. So we're going to go ahead and click OK on that. And now what that's going to do is when you've not put any current through your LiPo for 12 hours, that smart chip is going to start slowly discharging this LiPo until it gets down to a storage voltage. Now there is a couple other settings in here. Uh, storage voltage, you can set that for how low you want your voltage to be. 3.8 is what uh, most LiPo manufacturers recommend. And then you have your charge current. Now this smart charger can only go up to 12 amps, but you can turn this charge current up. I'm not sure how high you can turn it up, but I'm sure it's probably just to the C rating of the battery, yeah. So you can charge this to a 15 amp uh, mark on these smart batteries. So basically whenever you plug in a smart battery, no matter the charger, uh, no matter the smart charger, once that smart chip recognizes what battery it is, the battery will tell it that I want this battery charged at 12 amps and nothing less or nothing more. So that's a really cool option on the smart charger. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the smart checker so you can see how it is done on that. All right. So we have a 2S5000 smart, just regular 2S5000 pack, 30C pack, and we have it hooked up to a smart spectrum checker. You do not need the balance port plugged in. If it's a smart battery, you just plug it into the IC3 outlet on the side of the smart checker. So then you're going to go ahead and hold, push and hold down on this center button. Oh, maybe. There we go. And this is going to basically pull up the same menu that we saw on that S2100 charger. You have your auto storage, storage voltage, current charge, current voltage, and then inspection record. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the auto storage feature off on this per particular battery. But this is just so you guys can see how it's done on the smart checker. Uh, pretty, similar, pretty similar to how it's done on the smart charger. Uh, just a little different method on the checker than the charger. Alright guys, so I hope that little tutorial kind of helped you uh, get your smart batteries into their smart storage mode on the S2100 charger or the smart checker. Uh, like I said earlier, with the charger, that kind of goes hand in hand with all of the other smart chargers out there. No matter which one you had, you just got to press and hold on the select button and that menu will pop up. Uh, now you can only do this on smart specific chargers and lipo checkers if you do not have a smart charger or a smart checker, you will not be able to put your battery into that smart storage mode. Uh, I'm sure if you bring it to a hobby shop or a buddy that's got a charger, they'll be able to help you out. But other than that, thanks for watching guys. Hope you learned a little bit. See you in the next one.